All right, guys, uh, Jeff here. Uh, just gonna go over a uh, real quick, gonna be replacing this double pole 50 amp breaker. Um, last night I came home and the uh, house was hot upstairs. Uh, and, you know, I trouble, did some troubleshooting with the actual HVAC unit itself. Everything tested out fine. But uh, what I wasn't getting was getting good power. And when I came out here, you know, this breaker, which is an older, older breaker, was just super easy to trip. Didn't take anything to trip. And it, uh, you know, when it reset, you could almost hear that electrical kind of you know, crunching on that uh, bus bar. So I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and swap this out. Uh, $15 part um, could save you a lot of time and money on the HVAC side. So you have to do what you feel good about. It. If you don't feel comfortable doing uh, work on your actual panel then definitely don't do work on your panel uh, you know you do have to be careful electricity is definitely nothing to trifle with so you want to do it but this this is the one we're going to be swapping out um you know and uh it just looks tired now uh if you're more comfortable and in this case i'm just going to go ahead and shut the power off to the house you don't have to do that you can obviously swap these out without doing that um but you know again i kind of feel uh, in this case nobody's home i don't have a big draw on the uh, panel right now and might as well be safe rather than sorry and let's just make sure we can get to that panel without any trouble here so that should be the one we're looking for yeah so yeah and that's that old uh, aluminum wire actually run into that and should be able to just pull those guys out now make sure you guys can still see when i'm reaching in there let me take that out a little bit more Mashed in there pretty good, isn't it? Okay, and I got those wires out of there. Taking the breaker out, and it typically just rocks back. And I'm gonna look at that bus bar real close. You and I both can take a look at that and see. Uh, what do we see there? I don't see anything on the bus bar. Shows that I had any kind of problems. Uh, looks good. Uh, a little corrosion here on that aluminum uh, aluminum wire, but I think we'll be okay. So, um, but here's here's kind of what you can you know see is that this this guy just without any real effort just you know just really really easily tripped. And again, it was, uh, you know, to me, that's definitely a problem. So uh, to put these back in, all you're doing is uh, you line this up with a little part on the panel. And if you can see that, it might be better if I put you over here. Okay. Yeah, so you just rock this. Now this is a Simmons style panel, so different panels have different ways of doing it but that just locks back in those little tabs back there and then it just pushes onto the bus bar like that now a rookie mistake here was i had that breaker turned on if you were using this with power on that those screws are now hot and you don't want that you don't want those screws to be hot so when you put that bus bar when you put that breaker on with the electricity on you definitely want that to be turned off so that those screws there are not hot um, that just is an extra a little bit of extra protection uh, to make sure that you you know are going to do that now i'm going to try to get these aluminum wires back in there like i say there is a fair amount of corrosion on them Let's see if I can get a little of that off. That'll, you know, that that that'll interrupt your. Uh, that'll definitely interrupt your your uh, electricity going back to the unit. So 
more that you can get of that. And then you may even have some crowed off. Let's just see. Oh, those look like they'll clean up pretty good. Yeah, still doing okay. You know, when people talk about that aluminum wire being like old news, well, I got news for you. They're using it all the time now. You just have to make sure you have the right equipment and the right. Yeah. Okay. I definitely want that guy up there not coming off. Again, the whole point of having that high gauge wires to have all of those contacts up there getting good contact with your breaker. Otherwise you are not getting your current back there and cause everything to over amp and overdraw spark or whatever. So, okay. I think we're in better shape now. Okay. Using my square bit here. Crank that down tight. Okay. Oh, about ready. Let me just look at this panel here for a second. See what I got. Nice, good connections there. Okay. Yeah, and I, you know, this this panel is getting a little tired. Uh, some of these breakers, I should say. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and turn that uh, panel back on here. Let's go see if that fixed everything for us. We'll go from there. All right, so that's that's how it is done. And then uh, I, you know, as I've been working on this house and doing things on my panel, I've been, uh, you know, trying to rename things as I see them. My panel's writing's all faded, and so as I uh, identify things that I'm working on, I come back and. Sharpium so you can see the different things that I've fixed. It's kind of funny. I've been working myself from the bottom up But anyway, that's that's bottom line That it is now I feel comfortable. That's definitely a lot tight. I I probably should have just bought a Second one to do this guy because they're the same age uh, I do feel like the upstairs one gets a little more work. We're Home at night. We're not home during the day and that's where we sleep. So this one this one's on a little bit more So I don't know. Maybe that's the reason why who knows? But anyway, hey guys, thanks so much for watching. Appreciate uh, all that. Just, hey, play around with the channel. There's tons of stuff on there if you want to check it out. A lot of repair stuff, a lot of do-it-yourself. I've done quite a bit of stuff in the uh, solar arena. Um, I'm fixing to set this up to where I can hook my solar generator up to this. Uh, but none that's down the road. But nonetheless, just play around on the video channel. You'll see all kinds of fun stuff to check out. So uh, anyway, thanks for watching. We'll catch you next time on Jeff's Gadgets and Gears.